Here's how to make a GIF without the watermark. So first what we are going to do is sketch out all of our frames on Ibis Paint X. Both Ibis Paint X and Canva are free. So if you do use this method, both Ibis Paint X and Canva will be free unless you are taking Ibis Paint X and Canvas Premiums. And while we are on the topic of sketching, I will just make a couple of things clear. Um, I know Ibis Paint X does have a transparent background feature where if you go into the layers, overlay, you can select transparent, but you don't need to do that. You can see later for mine, I gave a green background for them, which is because on my video editor, there is a background remover. They call it a Delta keyer, but it's basically background remover. And all it will do is remove that green background. So it will look transparent. And yeah, Canva does not have a transparent background feature as far as I remember. So you do not need to worry about having a transparent background or anything like that for these images because it'll just remain white if you put it into Canva. And also I would just keep whatever is changing on your GIF from frame to frame on a separate layer from everything else. So that way you can easily change it or remove it if it is something that you can't just move around like the little squiggly on the side here. I kind of forgot to do that in the first GIF, so it made things a whole lot more difficult and challenging to deal with, so I just would highly recommend that you keep everything on separate layers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the GIF itself. Here you can see our Canva page with our frames at the bottom and our uploads to the right. I'll just go over to uploads. You can see I already uploaded everything that I need for this project. I'm going to just increase the amount of frames we have over here. And before I actually do anything, I'm going to add in this background color. And you might ask yourself, why do you need this background color? Why is this necessary? Well, as far as I could tell right over here with the document colors, there isn't actually a transparent background color for Canva. So if you want a transparent GIF, you are going to need to have some sort of background and a video editor that could probably turn that into a transparent background. Thankfully for me, I do have a video editor that does use, uh, well, it calls it a Delta Keyer and it just takes that color in the background and it will just delete it all. So, okay. Anyway, so you could see I just uploaded this picture right here. And this is going to be my first frame. We don't want it to be five seconds long though, because if we do have it five seconds long, then that just gets kind of long and we're wanting a GIF, not a PowerPoint. So we're just going to shorten that to about 0.2 seconds. That's what I found works well for me. You may want to adjust it if you find that that's not working well for your GIF. I kind of need a guesstimate on which frames I need for this GIF. Oh, before I do anything, let me also label this as test. Um, you want to go to the top and just click on the title and rename it. Cause for me, I forgot to do that. And now I just have a GIF that is labeled untitled design in my folders. Cause I am lazy and decided to not change the name of it. So if you don't want to have one that gets downloaded and titled as untitled design, then you may want to uh, go ahead and change that really quick. So now we're just going to do that for the rest of the frames and shorten it to about 0.2 seconds. You may want it to be pretty even timing throughout. That's what I've been doing and it works really well. So that's what I've been doing so far. And now we have all of our frames in and they're all shortened to about 0.2 seconds. And if you are fine with where your GIF is at, then you could just download it. But for me, I like these past two GIFs to be pretty continuous. So if it goes to the end and then loops back to the beginning, it will stay like a constant loop and you won't see the end of the GIF as well. So you could see if I play this, does seem a little bit obvious, but not that much. But if I want it to be even less obvious, I can just duplicate this middle page right here and then move it to the end. And now it will go from the top to the bottom 
then back to the top again. And I would say that looks pretty good. And now to download your GIF, what you're going to need to do, hit that download button. And there is file type. And let me just make this a little bit smaller for y'all so y'all could see that. There we go. So now there's file type under download. You're going to not choose PNG because we already uploaded PNGs. We don't want a PNG. And there's GIF right here. Short clip, no sound. Click that at all four pages. And the size is as is. You do not want to change that. And all four pages, that is correct. And then you're going to hit download. And then that should download your GIF. I already downloaded my GIF, so I don't want to download it again. But unfortunately for me, my file editor, my video editor does not actually take GIFs, which is highly unfortunate. I only figured that out after I downloaded it. So if you're like me and your video editing software or whatever software you're using to upload your GIF to does not actually take GIFs, then what you're gonna wanna do is go right down to MP4 and click that, do the exact same thing, save download settings and hit download. And you should have a GIF good to go, but if you want to make it seem more like a GIF with MP4, then just hit copy paste since we made it continuous. It should just go like any other GIF and no one will notice the difference. So yeah, that is just about it for making the GIF itself. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. And with that, let me know in the comments down below if you have ever tried making a GIF yourself and what that experience was like. And with that, I hope you all have a magnificent day and I will see you all later.